What's up, y'all? This your girl, Bill. I'm coming at y'all today with the Trayvon Martin case. This girl that testified today, oh my God. Her name is Rachel Gentile, or however you pronounce that. But honey, if y'all was watching, oh, you should have been tuned in if you weren't watching because they was really riding her and she was riding their asses back like straight up like she like most of the time other people use those straight yes no answers and yes i believe so and all of that oh no this girl say um are you listening did she come back with attitude um because i had we was looking on facebook and i was like oh lord please y'all just pray because she she was telling the judge like when you didn't want to interview me like why you didn't interview me on thursday not the judge but the lawyer zimmerman's lawyer and it was like it's the way she was talking it was like oh my god she messing everything up for you know for the state you know and the defense was like they took that and ran with it because they kept drilling they kept drilling and and it was like she telling the man, are you listening? Are you listening to what I said? And then, she, then the judge say um, that they were they was going to resume the case tomorrow. And she said, what? I ain't coming back tomorrow. And I was like, oh, are you serious? And she's supposed to be the state key witness. Like, she's supposed to be, like, the key witness in the whole thing. And she just making it all go downhill. Like, for real. I was like, oh, God. Uh, somebody should have schooled her on how to talk, you know, to them people. Cause you know, I know my ass is ghetto, but, um, when, if I had to speak in the court of law, I know how to turn the ghetto switch off and turn it back on when I need to be, you know what I'm saying? But she was just straight up. Like she didn't give a damn who said what she was going to speak her piece. And then, but she, she did good to me in a way, but until she got too much of an attitude, it it be kind of it it, it kind of um, start going downhill because at first he was trying to tell her that she was doing this or she was saying that and she was saying that and then she was like oh no this is what I said and she corrected him on what she said and she said it plain as day on what she said it, I mean it was like juicy y'all should have been watching it or y'all should have been over here with me watching it cause child it was good I was in hollering at TV I was laughing but at the same time I felt hurt because this is a serious case, you know, and for somebody to be sitting up there with an attitude like that, talking like that towards people and being just disrespectful, and I know she probably haven't never been in a court of law and been like, you know, drilled by these defense lawyers and all of this stuff before, and she knows she on TV, so she probably getting frustrated because they keep asking her these same questions over in a different way, you know, so I know she feeling frustrated and she ready to go home and she wanted to be over with. But at the same time, she needed to thank of Trayvon. That was her friend. I mean, she was the last person to talk to him. She, if she on his side, she need to think about that. You know, she, she, and, and try to get justice for him and act like, you know, a little bit more, a lot more civil than that. You know, B because that's just hurting the case like bad on, for Trayvon's side. You know, for Zimmerman's side, they probably over there laughing, clapping and saying, yay, hell yeah. But not how Trayvon daddy was just crying. I felt so bad for him. And and, and and it's just sad. You know, I hope she get it together. And I actually hope she show up tomorrow. Because she said, I ain't going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So, uh, I hope she come back tomorrow with a better attitude. And, you know, she gets some sleep tonight. And she won't be all frustrated and ready to go. You know, and she eat her a good breakfast. So, she can be prepared to answer these questions that they got coming to her. Lord, help her, please. Because it was just too much for a whole lot of people today. Um, I was just coming to give my point of view on this topic, and I thought it was just uh, a pure mess, like for real. Um, I hope she get her, uh, her game on tomorrow, her game playing right tonight, and she have her game face on when she come back in the morning so she can go ahead and answer them questions and seem like a totally different person than she was today because today... Uh-uh. Was a straight up no. No. 
Girl, I hope you go home and look at you some YouTube and watch my video. Because, honey, I'm going to need you to get it together, okay? If you want justice for your friend, you the last one that talked to him. I mean, I know you probably feel hurt and all of that. Well, I know you do. And and it's, it's an emotional trial. But think of Trayvon and what would he want you to do for him. You know, how would he want you to act? For him if he was here how would he want you to act if you could have saved him you know at that moment that you was on the phone with him just think about that you could have actually if if you could have actually been there to help save him you know from this tragedy you know just just feel like he there with you feel like he there watching you and, and, and try to try to speak with a little bit more I don't know. I, I guess I could say respect and not have an attitude because this is a crucial case. This is worldwide. Now you're going to be on the worldwide web. You didn't want to be on TV. Now you got your 15 minutes of fame. Two hours of fame. Well, that's a long time. You're going to have about two more hours tomorrow. And they're going to get you. Don't let them get you. So just be at peace. And for everybody who on Trayvon Martin's side, you know, I ask for y'all to pray for him and his family. And, you know, everybody who's been hurt by this situation and, you know, just have faith in God because he got the first and the last say so. No matter who on the witness stand, God has the first and the last say so. And that's all I got to say about that situation. And yes, it did cause a lot of laughter over the air today and over Facebook and all of that. Because it was kind of funny, but at the same time it wasn't. But she did give you a laugh, but at the same time it was not funny. Because when you think about the situation and his mom and daddy up there crying, it, it, it's just heartbreaking, you know. To, and for them to have to sit up there and see this girl talking like this and their baby is gone. And she talking like this, she's supposed to be, you know, I don't know, a little bit more decent than that. But, Lord, we just going to pray that um, justice is served for, you know, for this case. And that's all I got to say. I'll holler at y'all later.